In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to write a code and also to understand a code. First of all, let me show you the data that I'm going to use in this tutorial. This is a hydrograph data, flow data, for different dates all the way to 2024. Um, Timestamp is T stamp, and the value is essentially the flow right over here. Okay, so this is a comma separated or uh, CSV. I am going to actually prompt ChatGPT to write a piece of Python code for me that reads the data and also visualizes time versus value, which is discharge for me. Okay, so as you can see right over here, I have my Google Colab open, I have a new notebook open, and I'm going to write my first prompt. And my first prompt is going to be um, write a py Python code to visualize the relationship between time. And this T stamp is the header of that column. And the discharge values, the value was the header. Uh, you should create a plot where the X represents time and Y represents discharge values in cubic feet per second. And also I have copied and pasted the first couple of rows of the data that I have to give ChatGPT an idea of what kind of data I am working with. All right, when I send this prompt, and I want to mention that your prompt could be a little bit different. You can always come back and ask ChatGPT to uh, correct the code if you want to. Okay, so now you can see the Python code is right over here. It tells me that whenever it says your data, I need to replace it with my data right over here. So I need to replace this with my data. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the code, go to my Google Colab notebook and paste it over here. All right, now I need to bring my data over here. In order to do that, we need to copy and paste data into this folder right over here. The easiest way to do that is going to be, so this is the CSV file, the hydrograph that I have. I can just drag and drop it right over here. It gives you a warning for the first time because I've done this before. It doesn't give me the warning. The warning tells you that after a couple of hours, this is gonna be removed from uh, uh, the local storage over here. All right, now I need to change this yourdata.csv to the name of this file. So if you double click on this file, it tells you the name over here and it shows you the columns and the rows of the data right over here too. I am going to um, close this. There we go. And then I'm going to copy the name and paste it right over here. There we go. And I'm going to run this code. And if everything works good, which did, it gave me the hydrograph. However, this hydrograph is pretty messy, right? Uh, you can see all the markers for all dates over here. So uh, let's do this. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us to remove all the markers. Although you can just see the markers is right over here. So if you remove this, it is going to automatically remove the markers for you and I ran it again there we go now it's without the markers but let's do something else we're going to ask chat GPT that we want the graph to be um, we want the hydrograph to be black not blue okay and then um, chat GPT will change the code for us um, I want the hydrograph to be black I'm not going to write anything more and send this, see what happens. Okay, so if you take a look at this, you can see that in this uh, um, plt.plot, that there's color over here and the marker that we removed, it's still over here. So I'm going to copy that again, go right over here to the next cell. And again, your data needs to be replaced. So I'm going to just copy this line and paste it right over here and run this code again. Obviously, because now the color here is black, everything is in black. If you want to remove the marker, you can and run it again. So it should give me the hydrograph in black. Okay, so this is the first step. Now let's take this 
and make this a little bit harder to see how the code is going to be. So now instead of having a hydrograph for all the way from 1985 to 2024, I want to have the hydrograph from 2015 to 2021. But I want my x-axis to be days of the year. For example, it starts from 1, ends in 365. So in this case, all of my hydrographs will be, will be stacked on top of each other. Okay, so um, I've already written a prompt over here. I'm going to um, read it for you. So write a Python code snippet um, that reads discharge data from a CSV file named. Now you can see that I'm getting a little bit more specific because I do have the name over here. So I can paste it over here and visualize hydrographs um, for each year from 2015 to 2021. The hydrograph should display the relationship between time and discharge values the x-axis representing the day of the year and the y-axis representing discharge in cubic feet per second, ensuring, uh, ensure that the plot has appropriate labels, titles, legends for clarity. All right, I'm going to send this, and ChatGPT is going to give me this piece of code and tell me information about it. Let's just copy it and run it and see how it looks like first. I'm going to run this. All right, so this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the hydrograph to be stacked on top of each other day of the year from day number one all the way to 365, and this is discharge. So now I can see the differences between discharge from year 2015 to 2021. Okay, now the problem is um, as this get code gets more complicated and complicated, it's hard to understand what is going on. This code is pretty easy, and you can, by reading it, you can understand what different parts do. Specifically, this the comments over here help a lot. But our goal is to be able to interpret more complicated codes. Okay, so what I want to ask ChatGPT next is I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I'm new to Python, so write step by step guide for me to be able to understand the code. All right, and now I am going to send this. Okay, and as you can see, it is going to tell me step by step what the code has done. Number one is importing the libraries, what libraries are imported, reading the CSV file, converting timestamps to date time format, extracting um, year from the timestamps, so on and so forth, all the way to the plotting and customizing the plot over here. So um, also, um, if let's say that you want to have more information about a specific part of the code, you absolutely can um, copy, let's say, this part of the code and say add more information about this part of the code and then paste it over here and it automatically will give you more information about each line to be able to understand that part better that part better um, the good thing is that you can even ask detailed questions about, let's say, plt.show and what arguments can go inside the show or what arguments can go inside the tight layout that you have over here, so on and so forth. All right. Um, I hope that this tutorial was useful to you to understand how you can use ChatGPT to get started with coding and debugging your code and understand the code.